Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Nightingale on both my RX 7900 XDX and RTX 4090. This is a newly released Unreal Engine 5 survival crafting game that's in early access. Now I've gone ahead and overclocked both graphics cards and we're going to be focusing at 4K native and different rendering resolutions as well. <laughs> this was actually very interesting because not only was the 7900 XTX able to pretty much match my 4090, but it actually delivered a, a smoother experience on top of it as well. So without further ado, let's begin with 4K native and see what it looks like. Since this game does not have FSR 3 in it, although it does have DLSS, I'm going to be using TSR, the temporal super resolution that comes bundled with Unreal Engine. And the way the game works is you begin in a cave, essentially, then you go to these different realms. So we're going to begin in the cave at 4K native, and then once we enter the next realm, I'll be dropping to TSR ultra quality, and then the next biome will be TSR quality, and then the one after that will be TSR balance. So that's kind of how I went about it, okay? So let's begin with the settings right now, and show what we're working with so I've gone ahead and put everything to ultra quality for the graphical settings and we're running the game at 4k borderless that's there's no full screen option and we're using temporal super resolution as native AA in this game the main problem that I essentially encountered with the Nvidia side was the 1% lows are really atrocious now you do get some stutters on the 7900 XDX side as well, but on the NVIDIA side, for some reason, there's a lot more of them and they're more frequent, which results in 1% lows uh, to be quite bad, especially in the first two biomes. Uh, it, it, the difference is uh, really, really wide. Uh, the third biome, it actually gets, gets a bit better, but it's still very, very unusual. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, this game is sponsored by Intel, so I don't know how Intel CPUs perform in this game. I, I would love, I wish I had an Intel CPU platform to um, to test it because I don't know, that could make a difference. I'm not sure. But if we compare the averages and 1% lows at the end of our 4K native recording, which is pretty much almost here because it's just this beginning cave area that I kept 4K native on, we basically have the 4090 being 28% faster on the averages and the 7900 XDX being 40% faster on the 1% low. Again, it's a small slice of the game in its current state, but clearly uh, there is a 1% low um, stutter, stuttering issue on the 4090 uh, side. And this is something that happens throughout uh, the rest of the benchmark. But let's check out ultra quality now. This is now the first biome of the tutorial part of the game and we're keeping all the settings to ultra quality and then dropping from native AA to ultra quality temporal super resolution. Now, this game, like I said, there's no FSR 3. That's why I'm using TSR to keep things uh, similar and the same between the two. And again, as you can see in the frame time graph, there clearly seem to be more uh, stuttering and 1% uh, low issues on the 4090 side. Uh, I don't know if the video becomes popular enough, maybe I can take a look at the 3080 Ti and 6800 XT, see if it's the same thing going on over there. But this is definitely a type of gap that you don't really see between these two cards, uh, but it is interesting nonetheless. I, I do like examining these things because um, I just personally find it interesting. Uh, although I see in the comments that some people tend to take <laughs> Uh, these things a bit too seriously I mean it's you know it's an early access game and games change over time uh, it's just what it it's like a snapshot of what the game is like at this point in time but what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump towards the end of this benchmark and compare the numbers and those numbers are right before we leave this area for the next biome we have the 4090 being 13 percent faster on the averages and the 7900 XDX is 200% the 
performance of the 4090. So we have 50 FPS for 1% lows on the 7900 XDX and 24 FPS for the 1% lows on the 4090. So quite the difference. Uh, the game did not feel smooth at all. And to be fair, it does have stuttering issues on the 7900 XDX as well. So it's not perfect there either, but it's definitely a much better, much smoother uh, gameplay oh, for sure. You've avoided it. The next part of the quest will take us to the desert biome and this is where we're going to go from ultra quality temporal super resolution to quality and then proceed forward. This is basically the tutorial part of the game and the way I did this was I essentially made a brand new character on each GPU and these were actually done after a driver install. So it is possible that if you played the game, you know, frequently, that the shaders would be cached and the experience would be smoother. But again, just keep in mind, this is an early access UE5 game. So I expect the performance to improve overall for every every card out there. But essentially, right now, these are the numbers that, that, I, that I see. And now th there's another thing I wanted to touch on as well, because uh, just reading my comments, you know, people will say that, you know, UE5 performs better on one brand of GPU than the other. And personally, I haven't seen that. I've seen certain games performing better on one brand of GPU than the other. Sure. Like, for example, on Immortals of Abium, it performs better on AMD. Like, it, AMD has an advantage, basically. I benchmarked that game, actually, when it first came out. And it was pretty much the same exact scenario that I have right here. I had the 7900 XDX basically match in my 4090 and it had smoother one percent lows just like in this game and then you have a ue5 game like robocop or um lords of the fallen which performs better on nvidia gpus so i don't think the engine itself plays a role really although to some degree it might i don't know i'm not a developer so i don't know what the variables are but clearly depending on the game it can swing one way or the other but if we were to compare the numbers at the end of this run, we basically have the 4090 being 10% faster on the averages and 7900 XDX 88% on the 1% lows. So that is quite the big difference. Interesting. Next. This is the last biome part of the tutorial where we're going to go from TSR quality to balance. And Here's where I believe we are hitting some CPU bottlenecks. If you look at the uh, GPU utilization and consumption is below 99 on both sides. And you can see the power consumption on the 4090 drops below 300 sometimes. And on the 7900 XDX where it's usually pinned at 460 if we're GPU bound, it does drop below that uh, every now and then. But another sign that it could be a cpu bottleneck scenario as well is that the averages on both gpus are actually the same uh by the end of this run so we are going to compare those numbers as well but it's still the same pretty much same story the 7900 xdx is uh really ahead when it comes to one percent lows and one percent lows uh i mean if you get these type of stutters like we get in this game essentially they happen on both sides but more frequently on the 4090 side eh, that is enough to tank your one percent lows now if i was to play this for uh quite a long time they would probably sort of even out a bit but I still feel the 7900 XX would be noticeably ahead uh, in the current state that the game is in. So yeah, guys, that is uh, that is kind of unusual uh, results to see. Usually the 4090 is uh, consistently ahead of the 7900 XDX on average. But every now and then you do get a, a game here and there that sort of uh, stirs up the pot, if you will, or um, leans significantly over one way or the i mean perfect example is hell divers 2 how nvidia cards um are quite a bit faster than the amd ones in that game although as far as one percent lows and frame time consistency it's pretty good on both sides but that's how the game runs in its current state in my system again i wish i had an intel platform I would love to test it to see if there's any differences. Uh, maybe I can check out the Bang for Buck PC Gamers um, benchmark of this game. I don't think he's done it yet, but he has a 14900K that's very well overclocked. And I've seen that CPU usually outperform the 7800X3D in some games. Um, so this could be one of those games where higher clocks um, 
matter more than the extra cash and it seems to be affecting the uh, for 4090 or Nvidia in general uh, more than uh, Radeon GPUs again just speculation based off what I've seen uh, I'm not entirely sure about that but if we compare the numbers at the end of this run we have averages are basically the same on both GPUs and 1% lows the 7900 XTX is 66% faster we have 58 FPS for 1% lows on the 7900 XTX side and we have 35 FPS for 1% lows on the 4090 side so yeah that that'll be it for this comparison now the game does have DLSS and it also have frame generation and I've tested frame generation it does actually smoothen the game out but I don't think DLSS would be particularly better as far as 1% lows go we might be able to get more FPS but I wanted to use TSR to keep things even between the both of them. Uh, that was that was my uh, my reason for doing that. And I didn't actually get to see what the differences are until I made this uh, uh, editing when I put them side by side. Although I was aware that there was definitely more stuttering on the 4090. So yeah, if you were to play this game right now, uh, the 7900 XX would be the superior experience for sure in my opinion obviously uh, you know the game is runs much smoother in the current state but maybe i'll come back to it later when the game is uh updated more and see if there's any differences but if you guys want to see that like the video let me know that you like it and consider subscribing for more content maybe i'll take a look at the 3080 and 6800 xt uh, and knock both cards out with one video in a similar scenario thanks for watching guys and i hope you'll have a great rest of the weekend Bye bye